Good afternoon, and welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. As a reminder, please make sure to silence your cell phones and any other electronic devices at this time. Our entrance hymn can be found in the ritual song number 521, O Come, All Ye Faithful. Our celebrant today is Father Monsignor Antonio Catapoti. Please stand and join in singing number 521. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare for this Holy Mass, let us with humility ask the Lord forgiveness for our sins. I confess from unto God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I've done and what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through the most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, in you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who called Bishop St. John Newman, renewed for his charity and pastoral service to shepherd your people in America, grant by his intercession, as we foster the Christian education of youth and are strengthened by the witness of our brotherly love, we may also increase the family of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Unlike Cain, who belonged to the evil one and slaughtered his brother. Why did he slaughter him? Because his own works were evil, and those of his brother righteous. Do not be amazed then, brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us. So we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means sees a brother in need and refuses him compassion, 
how can he love God? And how can God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word, but in deed and truth. Now, this is how we should know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are his people, the flock he tends, that all the earth cry out to God with joy. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, that all the earth cry out to him with joy. The Lord is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus decided to go to Galilee and he found Philip. And Jesus said to, to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Nazareth son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathaniel said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathaniel coming toward him and said to him, It is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathaniel said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see great things in this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I said to you. You will see the sky open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> what a beautiful gospel of discipleship today 
Philip immediately followed Jesus and he told the good news to Nathanael and how they give themselves totally to God. What a beautiful example for all of us as we begin this new year to ask ourselves, our conscience, how is God number one in our life? And we may have other priority, our life may be rotated around other and things that are important to us. It can be power, prestige, money, material things, perhaps our country, our political party, could also be our children, our spouse, husband, the wife. Nothing wrong with that, nothing false about that. But we know by experience these things can fall apart if we put all the energy in one of these things alone and they become the absolute good. You know, loving all these things above everything else by not putting God in our life will eventually fall us apart and disappoint us. So as we begin this new year, let us examine our conscience and ask the Lord to make us now depending on these things, to have them, but with an understanding that everything we give ourselves to, all these uh, things are coming from the Lord, Him and above all. When we have God in our life, we will be able to overcome all the disappointments of life. If we depend on all these things as the essential of our life, important to survive, we know that they will not be coming true. And then we may lose our faith. We may ask God, why is doing these things? So let us ask the Lord for that grace to trust in Him, to put Him in number one before our own family. Not that we have to neglect them, but we know that everything we have comes from Him. He created us after nothing, and everything we have comes from Him. So to acknowledge that, it's a beautiful way to live a very good year. Let us bring now our prayers to the Lord, who taught us to love by his example. For all leaders in the church, may God fill them to overflowing with joy of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public authority, may the grace of our merciful God help them in their service to their people. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are in prison or waiting trial, may God look graciously upon their knees for repentance and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community gathered here, may God grant us strength and courage in our journey of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have fallen asleep in the hope of Christ, may God soon lead them to his glorious kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious God, hear the prayers we have offered today and grant us your mercy and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. We invite you to come forward and place a donation in the baskets near the sanctuary to help the mission of the cathedral. We thank you for your generosity. Our offertory song is number 527, Silent Night, 527.
pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours be accepted to God, your mighty Father. Merciful Father, look upon the gifts we have placed on your altar, the ground that we may reflect the image of Christ, your Son, just as you granted to Son John Newman to imitate what he celebrated through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word whom you made all things, whom you send as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, the born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as endure his passion, first to break the bounds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare you glory, and as with one voice, we acclaim. Mm -hmm. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy the four the gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. He once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, St. John Newman, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the severe command, a form by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other now a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our communion song is number 554, the first Noel, number 554.
Let us pray. Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the dead and resurrection of your son, we ask, O Lord, that by the example of St. John Newman, we may experience the power of the sacrament and remain constantly in the church by the bound of unity and truth through Christ our Lord. I would like to welcome everyone who is visiting the Cathedral of Our Lady of Angels for the first time. If you may raise your hands, we can welcome you here at the Cathedral. Anyone visiting new, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please don't forget to validate your parking validation at the bronze door, which is good for 90 minutes. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace now to love, serve the Lord and each other. Thank you. 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 Thank you.